Good morning, all. This is a day that the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. We thank God for you this morning as we continue with our lesson study. Today's lesson study is the study of, of David. And the, the point of our lesson is serve with excellence even when that work is not appreciated by others. Still serve. Be faithful and do what, what, what you are supposed to do. Our lesson is coming from 1 Samuel 18, verses 5 through 16. And see, when we, we, we're looking at this study because of the fact that David pleased God. And our job is to please God. And so as we look at it, see where he, he came from, his humble beginning as a, a shepherd boy, all the way to the, the kingship. But he, he, he simply did what he was supposed to do. I first outlined 1 Samuel 18, five through seven, and, and it reads, it says, and David went out whithersoever Saul sent him and behaved himself wisely. And Saul set him over the men of war and he was accepted in the sight of all people and also in the sight of Saul's servants. And it came to pass as they, they came when David was returned from the slaughter of the Philistines, that the women came up out of the cities of Israel, singing and dancing and to meet King Saul with tabrets, uh, with joy and with instruments of music. And the women answered one another as they played and said, Saul has slain his thousands and David his ten thousands. Give your best as a follower. It doesn't matter what, what do your best as a follower. When, when we look at this, David, wherever the king sent David, David knew how to conduct himself. And as believers, we must know how to conduct ourselves too. He, he went out and to war, but he knew how to conduct himself. He, he his his actions was accepted by everyone, and so it, it 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 is it is very important for us to carry ourselves in a proper way. When he got back from the return of his assignment. In this case, he, when he uh, annihilated the Philistines, they, they danced, victory dance and, and all of that, and, and Tabriz and music played. But, but something caught Saul's ear that was the ladies were singing and said, Saul, uh, slain his thousands, but David his ten thousands. And so and so do your best. Do be faithful in what it is that you're supposed to do. Just just do it. Do it to the glory of God and and and, and don't worry about it. Even though folk can still think, talk about you. L listen to some truth. It says we are to strive to be faithful and wise followers of those who lead us, assuming what they ask us to do is not unethical, immoral, or ungodly. Two, being a person who finds favor with others is a worthy objective if the way we accomplish it is well-founded and come from being a person of integrity. We are to celebrate the accomplishments of others who have served faithfully as well 
and give our best. Giving our best can bring joy to others as well as ourselves. The, the, the second outline, 1 Samuel 18, 8 through 11, it says, and Saul was very wroth and saying displeased him, the saying displeased him. And he said, they have ascribed unto David 10,000 unto me, they have ascribed uh, but thousands. And what, what, what can he have more but the kingdom? And Saul eyed David from the, that day and forward. And it came to pass on the morrow that the evil spirit from God had come upon Saul and he prophesied in the midst of the house and David played with his hands as at other times, and there was a javelin in Saul's hand. And Saul cast the javelin, for he said, I will smite David even to the wall with it. And David avoided out of his presence twice, two times. Give your best even when it is not valued. The saying displeased Saul. And, and because they they were giving more credit to David than they were of, of Saul, jealousy jumped in. And we have to be careful. Jealousy is, is real terrible. And so as he as he did that, as David continued to do what he did. When the evil spirit come, David played his music and he played his music. But Saul had a javelin in his hand. He wanted to pin David to the wall because of the saying of those uh, ladies. So we, 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 we have to still, you still must do what you're supposed to do for God's sake, no, no matter what. You, you're still to, to do that. And so it's important for us, again, to serve with excellence, even when that work is not appreciated. So we're, we're still to serve with it. Here, here are some lasting truths. One, envy, jealousy, and suspicions can destroy us. We cannot control the thoughts and attitudes of others, but we can determine to do our best and not allow their evil intentions and actions to control us and prevent us from doing what is right. And then thirdly, how sad to see a person with potential for good become so ill-spirited that they fought, they fall, they fail to develop that potential or accomplish the assignment before them. So, so it's important. Do your best, no matter what happens. People are going to do the best you can do for the Lord. The second, the third outline, First Samuel eighteen. 12 through 16, it says, And Saul was afraid of David because the Lord was with him and was departed from him. Therefore Saul removed him from him and made him his captain over a thousand. And he went out and came in before the people. And David behaved himself wisely in all he, his ways. And the Lord was with him. Wherefore, when Saul saw that he behaved himself very wisely, he was afraid of him. But all Israel and Judah loved David because he went out and came in before them. Give your best as honor to God. David was, I mean, Saul was afraid of David simply because because he knew God was with him. See, 
that's the thing. When you know God is with you, can can nobody can nobody harm you? When you know God is with you, and 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 since because he and he had the Lord had departed from Saul, and and again, David always did wisely. He 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 carried himself in the proper way, y'all. We must carry ourselves in proper ways when we go out. We, we cannot do anything or say anything. We are to carry ourselves wisely. Do behave ourselves and uh, carry ourselves in a wise manner. We must do that. Followers of Christ do that. Uh, but see, when you do what's right, people will see that you're doing what's right, and and they they will follow you. They they will follow you. But but uh, again, remember our point. Our point is serve with excellence, even when that work is not appreciated by others. Serve. Do your best at all times. Do what is right. Do what is pleasing to the Lord. It doesn't matter. David did that. David did. That's all David did. And see, you, you can do the same thing. All you do is what's right in the sight of the Lord. Look at look look at our our, our work. Uh, lasting truth. Knowing the Lord is present strengthens us. Feeling separated from him can lead to despair. The best standard of behavior is that which demonstrates obedience to what the Lord has made known and expects. Others can observe the presence of the Lord in our lives. People respond well to us when we give our best effort and demonstrate our genuine concern for them. So, so uh, again, again, David only did what was pleasing to the Lord. <coughs> Excuse me. And, 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 and when he went out, he knew how to carry himself. And that's for us to as believers, know how to carry yourself, conduct yourselves before all, before others, and do what is pleasing to God. Do what is right, no matter what everybody else says. You do what's right, and 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 God is going to be with you. God will be with you, like like God was with David. He, he with David. He he, be, he behaved himself wisely, and we must behave ourselves and do what is pleasing to the Lord. Also, no matter what other people say or do, you must do what is right. And when the Lord is with you. Can nobody destroy you? Can nobody tear you down? You do what is right and what is pleasing to the Lord, and He will guide you. He will direct you. He will lead you in the plain path. All you need to do is just follow the lead. You do what is right. And, and and that's all David did. David David he he, he went. He took care of business. He, he didn't he didn't be he didn't go off on a tangent. He did what was pleasing to the Lord, and that's all we must do too. Do what is pleasing to the Lord, and when you do what is pleasing to the Lord, He will bless you. Until next time, may God richly bless you, my beloved.